Hey everybody, it's Brother Derek here. I'm still a little tired from my uh, trip yesterday, our six hour trip. How's everybody doing today? Uh, I just watched Rampage and Smackdown. I gotta say, Rampage wasn't that bad. Um, the Dusty Rose and Keith Lee. Now y'all know in, in my review yesterday, I said that they need to get rid of Daddy Magic and uh Cool Hand Luke, whatever his name is. I call them the retards. And I said they need to do something with Keith Lee. But well, guess what? All three of them was in the first match. And it wasn't that bad, but uh still Cool Hand Luke and, and Daddy Magic still suck. But uh you know, I wouldn't go back and watch it if you, if you haven't watched it already. Right now, I'm showing you the main event, which was actually two African American ladies. Main event of rappers last night, and they had a pretty good match. It was a pretty good match. I'd say, in my opinion, it ain't the greatest match, but it was better than most of that crap we see. From the ladies they have, it was a pretty good match. We also got a um a, a nice setup for um Ty Valkyrie going against Jamie Hayter tomorrow night. So I gotta say, you know, it, it was pretty good. So if anybody wanna check it out, uh you know, I personally will fast forward to the ladies match because uh everything else on here was junk. Uh, we found out that Hook going to finish championship against uh, Jungle Boy. Who cares on Wednesday? What else did we find out? Oh, um, Orange Cassidy going to defend the belt. Tonight, I believe, he going to defend that All-American Championship. That toy title, he going to defend it. Against uh, the Hawk. What is what's his name? The Lance Archer. The bird hawk, the hawk man. Murder, murder hawk. See? Cause he don't come on, he don't come on. He in Japan and all these other places. Tony Khan ain't putting him on TV. And he had one match. And I, I don't wanna see it. As big as Lance Archer is, he struggled. Against who he fight? Chuck Taylor and the best friends. <laughs> he struggled with him. I don't want to see the fight. I, I don't want to see it. The man got power driven and everything. Got right back up. Phony crack. I'll watch it tomorrow and tell y'all what I think of it, but I ain't interested in it. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all interested in. Orange Cassidy versus the Murder Hawk. I'm not. But I am interested. Oh, they're gonna let Willow win against um Ruby Saw. Because um I was surprised that you know Athena was 49 and 0 since she won the um Ring of Honor Women's title. She went 49 and 0. The girl down there on the ground. She was 49 and 0. And so she lost for the first time in her last 49 fights. I didn't I thought they was gonna uh, let her be 50 and 0, so I'm really surprised. But uh Willow Willow got charisma and personality. You know, if she would tighten up a little bit. I know she big bone. She's still sexy, but she'll just tighten up a little bit. She will go a lot farther. And if Athena would tighten that stomach up, she'd still be in WWE. And she would tighten that stomach up. I don't know if she, she got an eating disorder or something, but if she tighten that stomach up, because I don't know what it is about these uh these, these little Little nerds that want to see washboard abs. Washboard abs ain't got nothing to do with the love. 
I'm just saying. But this was a great match. And I really didn't know who was going to win. That's what made it exciting. SmackDown was pretty good too. SmackDown was excellent. The episode with uh, Jay Uso, Paul Payment, and Solo made the whole show. That made the whole show. But then you had what's going on with the ladies. Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Oscar, Bianca Belair, Bailey. They all in it, going for, trying to get the title. They have a storyline with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Matter of fact, we had uh, the two black ladies main event at both shows. And I gotta say, um, I was really impressed. Let me see if AW will flag us. They flagged us in our last video we did for Dynamite. As I said, it was terrible, and they got mad at me. So I got the video in slow motion, so hopefully uh, they don't flag me. But uh, I got to give it to Tony Khan. This was a pretty good main event. And the fact that uh, you allowed uh, two African-American ladies the main event. Salute. But your booking sucks. How you gonna say, how you gonna have the murder hawk monster who ain't been on TV but one time this year? He always like gonna get a title shot. You don't set anything up. You don't have him in the program. I just don't get it. Just out the blue, the night before, the night before you battle the belts. That man get a title shot. Ain't earned nothing. What about the other people that's there? Why don't Hobbs get a shot? Why don't Big Bill get a shot? Brian Cage get a shot. Oh, oh yeah, because you buried them, right? Nobody won't take them seriously. That's why you won't do it, huh? Terrible booking. You gotta start playing the head. Stop waiting until the last minute to do stuff. Let us get excited about it. We looking forward to Jay Uso, Jay Uso versus Roman Reigns. We looking forward to it. We looking forward to the United States Championship match at SummerSlam. We looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to Oscar and Charlotte Flair. Even though I'm sick of Charlotte Flair. I'm looking for EO Sky to cash in. She almost cashed in tonight. They, they're making us wait for it. Unlike Tony Khan who just wait till the day before and announce the match. Don't give it no time to marinate. Don't give it no time, you know, the want to see it. You get into it, because it's already happening. It's the next night. They don't have no cliffhangers. I really thought the EO was going to uh, cash in tonight. We really believed it. That's why I say... WWF might be silly sometimes. WWE, I'm sorry. Might be silly sometimes, but they give you a good storyline you can get into. And they make you feel like if you miss an episode, you miss something. Whereas with Tony Khan, most of the time you miss something. You don't know what the heck going on. Be like, if you blink, you miss it. It'd be so, it be so boring that you don't want to watch every episode, but then something happened and you don't know about it because, ha! You said, well, you know, it ain't important. I won't watch. I'm just being honest with you. Y'all know this company giving away 55 inch TVs for free. But to get the TV, 
You can't modify anything. You can't add anything. And you got to have a 20-inch screen underneath the TV. Showing commercials 24 hours a day. And, and, and you can't put no ad blocker or anything. You can't DVR anything. You got to watch every commercial. I told him, keep that crap. I, I keep working with, with my projectors. I ain't watch no commercials. Commercials all day. Everything you watch, they're going to put a commercial on there. Even if you play it. And, and, and you can't add nothing to the TV without permission. And if you do, they're going to charge you $1,000. They did to get your credit card number. And make sure you got enough cover, enough to cover it before they send you anything. And if you break any one of their rules, they're going to charge you $1,000. So it ain't free. So yeah. They telling you what you can watch, how you can watch. If anybody go for that, good luck to you. Thirty-five dollars paid for that screen. Thirty-five dollars. I paid forty-six for this one. Only reason why I paid forty-six, it came with a new bug. But now I know how to change them, so I won't make that mistake again. Now I know how to change the bug. I won't have to buy another projector. I'm good. I was thinking about stepping up the um a 1080, but yeah, I'll wait till the price come down. When I can get one for under 100, I'll get it. But right now, it ain't worth it. Ain't much difference between 720p and 1080. Ain't much difference, especially when when I, I grew up through 240, 360, 480, 720. It's just fine. People are going to tell you, oh, put your face up to the screen and do all that. They're full of crap. We, we haven't paid those guys in the projector screen sector any mind lately. I'm sure they ain't crawled out that hole by now because I ain't had no pressure on them. I ain't paying no mind. All they do is scam the people. Yeah. I don't leave them alone. Get nothing out of that. So uh, we went to Walmart yesterday. And like I said, uh, I got a six hour video for y'all. Six hour video. We um we got our new speaker. Like I said, it's early in the morning. But I can turn the volume up. Like I said, I got the volume low because it's early in the morning. But uh we got balance, man. We got the new speaker right there. We got the two right there. We got the four right here. And we got the one right there. We got um We got um a, a 2.1 under the bed. And we got four up there. So we got a subwoofer under the bed and a right and left speaker. And then we got a subwoofer dead ahead. Right there in between the TV and the projector. And you can see the center speaker on top of it. And then we got one over there in the corner, see it? That's your, that's your left front. And then inside that desk, where that chair is, we got the other right speaker. So we got 15 speakers now. Like I said, I got the volume. It's one of my homemade songs. But uh, it was pretty good. SmackDown was good too. Um, let's go Escobar. Is um going to the finals for the um US championship to so get the title match against Austin Theory. I'm hoping it's LA Knight Nescobar and LA Knight win. And then LA Knight win the US championship. That would be great. People seem to be into him right now. They really seem to be into him. My homemade music. But that's well up, she won. Hopefully we won't get flagged. So y'all, I would advise y'all, if you didn't watch both shows, check them out. They were pretty good this week. You know, if you ignore the murder hawk crap, if you can survive Daddy Magic and Cool Hand Lip, I fast forward that. Ain't even watch it. I fast forward the murder hawk match to the end. If you see the murder hawk get beat up by the scrub, I can't even remember. It was uh, Chuck Taylor or Muffin Tot. 
one of the best friends. They suck. They have no personality. It, it just sucks. But Tony Khan keep putting them on our TV. I don't know why. Don't nobody watch them. Don't nobody watch them. Well, that's how she pinned her. She, she put that behind on her face and pinned her. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Athena. She put that behind on your face. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> she put that big caboose on your face. If she would tighten up that stomach. Tighten up that stomach and grow your and grow your left shave on the side of your head. And if she would tighten up, she'd be a superstar. Because of charisma. Alright, sorry, Mr. Brother Dark. I saw that shooting with y'all to tell y'all about the rash one. Hopefully we don't get flagged today. Y'all see we got the sunlight coming in. Y'all see it's killing the ceiling. But uh doesn't do anything with a friend. So alright y'all, I'll check y'all out later. Peace everybody, I'm out. I'll be back to I'll be back tomorrow night with my um collision, AW collision and um battle with the belt review. I might take some notes and give y'all a detailed list of what's going on. So y'all let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to do it. Peace everybody, I'm out.